many uh, of my family uh, members uh, have uh, type 1 diabetes so that's why i was very passionate to do research in the type 1 diabetes field growing up in india actually i had different friends and relatives with type 1 and i saw how type 1 can be difficult when i was in poland uh, i was a physician scientist and i witnessed the magnitude of the problem i i witnessed what is the burden of of the kidney complications for patients and i realized that we really need to act earlier I was originally fascinated by uh, cell therapy approaches and cell regeneration to treat diverse uh, diseases. In diabetes, uh, there's a big opportunity here to, to treat it with these approaches to take cells and use them as a therapy and not taking drugs. I did my PhD work also on the beta cell, trying to understand how different factors are regulating insulin uh, production and secretion. If we can replace the beta cell, suddenly you won't have diabetes anymore. And from a cell biology standpoint, that was fascinating. It sounds so simple and straightforward, but it's such a complex problem. And so that type of research really excited me. Basically, to get a fellowship is important for a researcher. The fact that it comes from JDRF is mostly important because it comes from people who are devoted for that cause and believe in what you do. Getting the JDRF fellowship was really exciting and it was a great opportunity for me. It helped me to pursue this high-risk, high-reward research. It also gave a validation that your research is exciting and interesting and innovative. I am extremely honored that I am a recipient of the GDRF Career Development Award. I have been promoted to the position of the assistant professor at Harvard Medical School and an assistant investigator at Jocelyn, and I have no doubt that this grant contributed to, to the fact that it happened. JDRF has really made it possible for me to move forward with diabetes research without having to worry about applying for additional funding or trying to figure out a way to justify doing this type of research. Currently, we are working on finding glucose sensors that can potentially be developed into a smart insulin. Smart insulin is a system which can respond quickly to elevated glucose level and release the required amount of insulin and stop the release when the normal glucose level is reached. I am very excited about my research where I am working to find out the metabolic stimuli which triggers the kidney complications. So if we will be able to find out some epigenetic regulator which regulate that kidney complication in type 1 diabetic patient, so we can help this type 1 diabetic patient in an early stage and they can live a normal, healthy life. Great researchers and PIs came out of this lab and the reputation is big, so hopefully I could fit in those kind of shoes.